Frontier 545, how are you are next? You guys ready? We're ready to go. Frontier 545, runway 19, line up and wait. Line up and wait, 19, Frontier 545. American 2139, you can exit that box shot and ground point seven. I have a pencil box, American 2139. Hey everybody, welcome to my flight deck. Captain Mike here. We're taking another look at my night lighting edits. I'm just about done. 80 knots. I have everything turned off in the flight deck, so I have no idea how fast I'm going. Um, I have no sound. Everything's turned off. I'm just doing light editing. You should have sound, though, in the server. Let me know what you think about these lights. Four hundred. They're pretty much done. One thousand. I'm just not sure about the highways. I think they're all right, but the only thing I have left to check really is whether or not uh, these do anything during dusk and dawn. If I'm getting any type of crazy lighting or whatnot. I think they might be getting some shine there. Let me turn these lights off so you get a better view. Let me get it nice and dark in here. Looks like there's a shine on that monitor. Let me hold on a second. That eliminated most of the shine. Uh, let's go down and have a look at these streets. And like I was saying, as soon as I check these for uh, any issues during dusk and uh, dawn, And I'll put together a zip package. Put together a little instruction booklet. It's fairly easy to put uh, put these in. We're going to replace the lights text file, the uh, thousand lights near PNG file, both in the lights subdirectory of Xplane. And then if you want to get rid of the uh, the splash screens or the splash tiles out in the distance where you no longer get trees and buildings but you can see the, the orange blobs as I call them out in the distance if you want to get rid of those um, I've also included a fix in that as well it's nine tiles that you're gonna have to replace and that'll get you that nice black um, out in the distance with just extended lights running and it looks so much better Uh, this is Chicago, and I think the uh, the lighting is pretty spot on right now. Um, I'm not using anything special, um, no Lua scripts, um, no reshade, nothing like that. This is all done um, in house in X Plane uh, 12. Just editing the uh, text file and PNG and uh, some DDS files. That's it. But it's all in house. 
What I also like is the airports are a lot harder to find now. As you can see, we're pretty much, I believe, I don't know if that's MDW or ORD. It's one of them out here in Chicago. It's nice and dark down there as it should be. They're basically just black spots in the ground from the distance when you're in the air. They shouldn't stick out. You shouldn't see them from miles and miles and miles away. Nice and dark. Now the ones that you can see out in the distance, let's see if I can get that one in there. You can see way out in the distance there, you can see uh, an airport. And that's because um, X-Plane 12 didn't get their, uh, their lights out there yet. That's just basically extended lighting. Um, that was created by a gentleman that I'm using. So the airport still st sticks out just a little bit. But once the graphics catch up to it from X-Plane, it blends in and it makes it really difficult to uh, find. So if you rely on seeing those lights from miles and miles away, you, then you may not want this edit. <laughs> Anyway, this is Chicago, looking pretty nice, and once I come back, I need a break. I can feel my voice and my breathing a little bit. I've been pushing it, <laughs> um, but uh, I'm going to take a little bit of a breather. I'm going to get something to eat, and maybe when I come back, I'm going to check out the uh, dusk and dawn uh, times a day and make sure there are no ill effects there from my light edits, and then uh, put together a zip file for everybody and how about we take one more nice little low pass here that's how many streets we get nice and low be a little biased because I've been working on these for the past week, but I think they look pretty good. They are definitely better than default um, with my monitor setup. That's also something to keep in mind. Um, what I'm seeing here may differ from your screens because you may have a different video board. I'm using a 3090 from EVGA FTW3. Um, it also be your monitor and your monitor settings. I use my dynamic settings on my 4K monitors, so that allows me to adjust these. They may be a little bit too low for you if you're looking at a regular monitor. If that's the case and there are a lot of individuals that are having that issue, then maybe I'll make another set and uh, I'll kick up the, uh, the lighting on these for you. But uh, right now, this is pretty much it and I think it's looking fantastic. With that said, I'm going to go and uh, I'll be back in a bit. All right, everybody. Take care. I'll catch you on my next run. Southwest aircraft and land. Gonna try to anybody.
enjoyed this little run through and give you an idea of what I'm up to. And uh, I'll be back. All right, everybody, take care. Runway 19, you got a helicopter about a half mile to the east to get a thousand feet, no faster. All right, clear line 19, American 1460.